Hello, my name is Ms. O'Deal, and I am a teaching artist for KidSmart. Today I am doing a lesson for Mildred Osborne. We're going to be learning how to pantomime using a story that we've read together. If you have yet to read this story, you may go back and look at the other videos. I did a read aloud of A Story is Stole by Gail E. Hale. So what is a pantomime? A pantomime is the art of acting without words. That means we're using physical action as it occurs in real life. We're going to choose one character and we're gonna follow their journey through the book. I will be focusing on Osebo, the leopard of the terrible teeth. So, to create our character, I want you to take a look at the pictures of Osebo in our book. And when we look at the pictures, we use our imagination and we think about what might it be like to become a leopard in this African jungle. We want to imitate a leopard as they would be in real life. Of course, our bodies don't look like leopards and they don't move like leopards, so then we also have to use our imagination. So now we're gonna practice our pantomime. First, I want you to stand like a leopard. This is your posture. How do leopards stand? Go ahead and do it with your body. Next, we're gonna pretend to walk like a leopard. As actors, when we become our character, we have to observe very carefully how we move. Next, I want you to sit. Then lay down. Now remember the setting of our story is in Africa. Imagine there's tall grass. How would a sable walk through the tall grass? Next, when we do pantomimes, we have to use gestures. A gesture is a movement that we make with our body. And there's two different kinds of gestures that I want you to use. One is the kind that we do with our hands and our arms, and then in for Osebo also our legs. And the other is our facial expressions. Facial expressions are very important so that we can learn about our character's feelings or emotions. Now that we know how to move like Osebo, I want you to tell his story. I will demonstrate. At the beginning of our story, when Anansi first meets Osebo, Osebo becomes very hungry. He tells Anansi he plans to eat him for lunch. Anansi suggests that they play the binding binding game. He will tie him up and then Osebo can tie him up in return. In the middle, right after they begin the binding binding game, Anansi tricks Osebo. He ties him up and does not let him go. He hangs Osebo from a tree. Towards the end, Anansi ties up Osebo in a spider web with the other two creatures and carries them up to the sky. Okay, now it is your turn. Have someone at home watch you become Osebo and go through the whole journey, the beginning, the middle, and the end of his story using pantomime. Remember, you can't use any words. Remember to relax your body before you start. 
We want to imitate and copy the leopards that we saw in the pictures in the video. And then imagine that you really are Osebo. If somebody at home can't watch you, see if you can borrow a phone and videotape yourself. And then you become your own audience and watch your pantomime after you are done. Thank you. Have a good time.